Welcome everybody to the Brothers Cannon Cut. I want to show you how to use, how to cut some felt today. I'm going to cut a little nice flower. I'm going to look for the flower. It's in under all the bolt-in patterns. And I'm going to go down. Let me just see if there's another flower. I'm going to do this one. I'm not going to select my size here. I first want to scan my mat. I'm going to say OK. There's only one color, so I'm going to say OK. You can change the size and the width and your numbers, how many you want over here as well. I'm going to say Set. So from here, I'm going to stick my felt onto my mat. Okay, so this is the felt that I'm going to use today. It is quite a hard, stiff felt, and it is quite thin as you can see. I'm going to select the right side and turn it upside down. So when your mat is not as sticky anymore and you want to add a little stickiness to it, to your project, you can use 505 spray adhesive. This is the only one that we recommend that you use on your projects or on your mat. But please never spray it near your machine or onto your mat directly. Spray it onto your project. You don't need a lot. Shake the can and spray your project all you need and then stick it down onto your mat. Wipe out all the air bubbles from the middle to the sides. Something else you can use is called painter's tape. Please don't use any other sort of tape like cellar tape or uh, scotch tapes. They tear too easily. Painter's tape is the best. So I take painter's tape and I just stick it on all my corners, making sure I do not close any of my registration marks that's here on the top. Just gonna get another piece at the bottom. And now I'm sure my project is not going anywhere. To load your mat, open the dust cover of your machine, make sure you have your, the top side facing the machine. And when you insert your mat, hold your hand flat close to this bar and then press your mat feed button. And with a slight pressure and slight pushing forward, you press the button and move your hand with the machine and with the mat as it moves in. This ensures that your mat is flat and it doesn't give you bubbles. Make sure the tape is secure. And now from here, I will scan my mat so that I can see exactly where my pink project is. So now I can see exactly where my pink project is on my mat. If I couldn't see it, I can go into my settings and I can change the background over here and make it a little bit lighter or darker. Here it's on the second one, it's lighter. And as you can see, the pink isn't as bright anymore. But I'm going to leave it on the darker one so that I can see exactly where my project is. And I'm then going to move my flower out of the way or onto my out of the corner and in, onto my project. I'm going to edit it and make it a little bit bigger. Let's make it exactly... Let's make the height exactly. I'm going to change the aspect ratio. Can I change it on this picture? It's a pre-designed one. I'm going to say OK. OK. And I'm going to go to my cut screen and just move it a little bit into the corner so I don't have any wastage. Okay. I'm going to go to the cut screen. I'm going to say cut. I'm going to look at my settings. So my speed is always quite slow. I like the, to give the blade some time to turn. The pressure is not on auto. It would, it would differ from machine to machine. My blade has been used quite a lot. So I'm going to put my pressure on three. I know I'm not going to cut through my mat. 
and my half cut is going to be off. I'm going to move my test cut just a little bit down and out of the way. I'm going to move it around with my arrows, move it all the way down, because I don't want it in the middle of my project. Move it sideways and say, so, okay. I'm going to say start. As you can see, it's not cutting completely perfect, but it did cut through. It still has a little bit of an edge to it right there. So what I do is if I see it like this, so it's still a little bit stuck on one of the sides and it, sides and it didn't cut through, I'll just cut my project a second time. So instead of testing it again because it did cut through, I'm going to tell it to start. Don't take out your mat, don't select anything, just say OK and then tell the machine that you want to cut again. And you don't need to do a test cut a second time, you can just say start. Now you can use your spatula and just lift the project and there you have a beautiful flower.